Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this to dance. Um, reacting to the scientific side of Islam video is right. Part two. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. These statements must have come to Muhammad from God or Allah because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered, uh, discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. Consider what this well-known and respected scientist of embryology declared upon studying the Quranic verses related to his discipline and his conclusion that Muhammad, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, must have been a messenger from Allah. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. In comparing the freshwater leech to the embryo at the alaka stage, he found a great similarity between the two. Professor Moore concluded that the embryo during the alaka stage acquires an appearance very similar to that of a leech. Professor Moore worked on this phenomena. He placed on picture of a leech together and side by side with a picture of an embryo and in an illustrative form. As we see, he presented the two pictures to scientists at several conferences as we see in the picture. We can also see here the attachment of the embryo during the alaka stage to the uterus the womb of the mother. The word alaka also means a clot of blood. It is significant to note, as Professor Moore stated, that during the alaka stage, the embryo blood resembles the formation of blood in closed vessels until the metabolic cycle is completed between the embryo and the placenta. During the alaka stage, the blood is then coated with enclosed vessels, and that is why the embryo acquires the appearance of a blood clot. Hence, in the alaka stage, the embryo acquires its human features. So how could Muhammad have possibly known that by himself? Professor Moore also studied the mudra, or chewed-like substance. He took a piece of raw clay and chewed it in his mouth, as you can see in picture B. He took a picture of the embryo at the mudra stage, as we can see in picture A. In comparing the two, Professor Moore concluded that the embryo at the mudra stage acquires the exact appearance of a chewed-like substance. Several Canadian periodicals published many of Professor Moore's statements. In addition, he presented three television programs in which he highlighted the compatibility of modern science with what has been contained in the Quran 1400 years ago. Consequently, Professor Moore was asked a question. Does this mean that you believe that the Quran is the word of Allah to which he replied? I find no difficulty in accepting this. He was asked, how can you believe in Muhammad while you believe in Jesus Christ? His reply was, I believe they both come from the same school. And thus, modern scientists all over the world today can come to know that the Quran has been revealed from Allah's knowledge. As Allah has told us, Allah bears witness that which He has revealed to you, He has revealed from His own knowledge. It also follows that Prophet Muhammad, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, is the messenger of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. ويرى الذين أوتوا العلم الذي أنزل إليك من ربك
ربك هو الحق ويهدي إلى صراط العزيز الحميد صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Praise be to the Lord of the universe and may Allah bless and grant peace to the Prophet Muhammad and his family and his companions This book The Developing Human written by Professor Keith Moore has been translated into eight languages. It is considered a scientific reference work and was chosen by a special committee in the United States as the best book authored by one person. We met with the author of this book and presented to him many Quranic verses and the prophetic hadith which deal with his specialization in embryology. Professor Moore was convinced by our evidence so we asked him you mentioned in your book that in the Middle Ages there was no advancement in the science of embryology and that only very little was known at that time. At the same time, the Quran was being revealed to the Prophet Muhammad and he was guiding people according to what Allah revealed to him. There is found in the Quran very detailed description of the creation of man and of the different stages of human development. You are a world renowned scientist. So, why do you not uphold justice and mention these truths in your book? He replied, You have the evidence and not I. So, why do you not present it to us? He provided him with the facts. He proved to be a great scholar. In the third edition, of his book. He did make some additions. This edition enjoys worldwide distribution and is read by many of the world's foremost scientists who speak English, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, German, Italian, Portuguese, and Yugoslavian. They read the editions of Professor Moore in his book about the Middle Ages that growth of science was slow during the medieval period and a few high points of embryological investigation undertaken during this age are known to us. It is cited in the Quran, the holy book of the Muslim, that human beings are produced from a mixture of secretions, from the male and the female. Several references are made to the creation of a human being from a sperm drop, and it is also suggested that the resulting organism settles in the woman like a seed six days after its beginning. The human blastocyst begins to implant about six days after fertilization. The Quran also states that the sperm drop develops into a clot of congealed blood. Reference is also made to the leech-like appearance of the embryo. The embryo shown in figure 53A is not unlike a leech or blood sucker in appearance. The embryo is also said to resemble a chewed piece of substance. Interesting video, and I think I've reacted to a lot of videos, not a lot, but a number of videos talking about the embryo and its formation and how it's actually um, in the Quran. Like, it's written down that this is how it forms, and Scientists of them have then discovered that that's how the fertilization goes on and how the embryo develops.
and each video gives detail after detail of how the entire process is but to the person that suggested this is the entire our uh, entire videos like part one two three four five six seven and two i don't know how long they are for do they all talk about just the uh, formation of the embryo or we get to see something else in the other parts of this episode it's also important to acknowledge that people back then actually had this knowledge that we're only discovering now or at least it's in the quran we need to appreciate that and if you know that something has been said in the quran or any other book that you think is useful for our time now always feel free to share it with friends i mean those friends that are eager to learn and are open to getting new information let me know what you guys actually think i don't have much to say about this because i think it's just the embryo and i've already commented about the embryo before and yeah let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video